So I got myself the first version of the section cart. This is how it's looking. I got four separate carts with three small stock pods each. And I got the, the main carriage in front and I'm gonna build one of these on the other side. I decided to leave the, the catch block idea aside and I'm gonna try a different thing. Today is gonna be the first test and let's see how it goes. Welcome to Medieval Engineers. So I did a few changes here. I placed a full block instead of the stairs and I added stairs to the sides. I placed these battlements one block behind with walls underneath so that I can attach these long holders here. And this is going to be the platform where I'm going to step into the cart. Uh, so this is going to have to be a little longer. Or maybe not, because I'm going to have a carriage in this front part. So this carriage will have to stop right here. So probably these battlements will stop on this line. But first, let me show you where I got going on. So I got three stockpiles for stone, uh, small ones. And I decided the, uh, uh, to leave the idea of the catch block behind because with several carts connected together, it would be a lot of moving parts and I think something would break along the way. Also, it didn't look very good the way I was uh, setting it up. And I think it's just way too many things moving at the same time and something would break along the way. So I decided to go with ropes instead. So I got these little platforms here, they serve as brakes in between carts. And I'm gonna have two ropes connecting to each cart. These two ropes will allow the cart to move left and right and up and down. And these things right here will serve as brakes. I think I have enough clearance to be able to turn 45 degrees. That's the max that I need to turn. So I don't need these things to be further apart. They're still uh, attached to timbers to the floor. I built them this way and I also like to make another carriage on this side like this one this is just a rough design mm -hmm. I might change a few things I tried to make it look a little bit like a like a car I got two boxes because you know it could be useful and I think I got enough room to go right here attach the rope and run in this direction uh, if this is too small for me to extend the rope and pull everything well, I just expanded to the front. That's fine. I got I got room for that. But first thing first, I'm gonna have to remove this uh, scaffolding that I built around, place the battlements once again, and detach it from the timbers and see how it stands. And then the big test is gonna be whetstone. I'm not sure if it's gonna hold. Okay, so I placed the battlements. I'm not gonna build them yet because I think I might need to remove them again to be able to pass through. But uh, let's give it a go. So first, I'm gonna have to attach... Yeah, I don't have room. I'm gonna have to remove these things. I'm gonna have to attach the ropes. And... It's gonna be a little tricky. Maybe I should put just... Uh, yeah, because I would have... To, I would like to have the ropes with this size, you know? So I'm gonna attach the ropes first. There you go. Because it sets the rope with the length that it is in the moment that you attach both points. So this rope will have this length and not more. Uh, of course it has some uh, flexibility, it extends a little bit of course, but uh, this will be the length that it's gonna have. If I, if I detach the, the cords first, they're gonna move around, and then the ropes are not gonna have the same length. So I think it's better to do it like this. Build a bunch of ropes. And... It's much cheap, it's a little cheaper to do the ropes in the, in the thing where you do the linen string. And... Uh, okay, I think this is on, this is on, this is on, okay. This will be a test. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe I should do this uh, last carriage before yeah I think I'm gonna do it also I have the opportunity to kind of show how I did this so I'm gonna use a full timber right here 
Then I turn to a nine. Uh, yeah, but the carriage is not the same size. Let me check how long is it. Uh, so it starts here. So it's a seven, fourteen. Seven fourteen. It's sixteen. It's the same length as the others. Gotcha. Okay. It's uh, sixteen. And then that extra part on the back. But that I add later. Okay, so let's put it. I believe this is a, a full one, right? This is a full one, so I already got 11. So to 16 I need a, a, a 5. There you go. So let's put a 5 and a full one. There you go. There you go. Now a number 9. There you go. I'm going to do the same here. Three and then a nine on top. This is the right height, right? Yeah, there it is. Nice. Let's see, do I still have catch blocks? Uh, I used all the catch blocks. Oh man, I still got wheels but no catch blocks. Let's see. Maybe I, maybe I put them inside. So I close this off right here because the carrot should stop here, and then it's just a matter of moving this one block further, one block be behind to put it in the light place so that it's easier for me to step in and out. Uh, nope, I got a rope. Yeah, I got catch box here. So. That's been... I also tried to use the locking catch block, but it's a little weird because it only locks the catch block in one side. If it rotates against the locking system, it locks it up, but it can rotate on the other side. But then, when I attach a second lock, uh, it stopped locking it, locking it. So it was a little weird, it wasn't reacting the way I wanted it to. So that's what, another reason why I kind of gave up on the idea. Of the okay, let's just give up on the idea of the catch blocks because it was way too finicky and I think it wouldn't work anyway. So let's just use ropes. I, I do trust more in the ropes, to be honest. There you go. I think that's what I did here just two sets of wheels, right? Uh. Yeah, they don't have to be the same. So let's just put it like this. I don't, I don't know why I built things to be in the way, since I'm still not finished. Now let's put. Does a full one fit? I guess it does. There you go. There you go. The main idea is in. So let's put the wheels. And another thing that I noticed in the wheels is that the inside part has two bars, as you can see, kind of horizontal, and the outside doesn't. So that's a good way to distinguish which side should go in. There you go. And. There you go. Is this one right? I think it is. Okay, so I got wheels. I got obstructions all the way, because of course I do. And now I need some breaking stuff. Some breaking stuff. Some little things to, to break my 
my movement will make me stop without destroying too much things. Just a simple thing. There you go. This side is not gonna have ropes, this is the front. And I'm just gonna need a platform. Let's put a... Like that. This is definitely different than the other. <laughs> I don't remember how I did the other. Uh, and now, I'm just gonna... Close all the, the thing out. Like that. There you go. Okay. So it should break kind of like this. So now I'm also going to put... I, I, I have a feeling this is not going to be uh, long enough, this cart, you know, to extend the rope and pull all of this out. I don't know if it's going to work at all. So here I'm going to need a... a at least this width. That's a four. Okay, I'm gonna leave a five. Here. There you go. Grab my measuring stick, and there it is. So I also gonna need brakes on this side, and to attach. So this is attached to the floor, so I can remove it. I'm gonna need those two things. I don't remember what they called. Roll pipe blades. There you go. A couple right there. There you go. And now timber three. Uh, oh yeah, I removed the one on the bottom, yeah. Initially I had this like this as a square, but then I figured this is gonna roll up and down. So this one on the bottom should go up, should disappear. Because I'm gonna descend 45 degrees, so this lower part I think would hit the floor. Uh, so I decided to remove this lower part and leave just a thing on top. And, uh, and let's see. And I actually added uh, an extra here. There you go. And on top too, but for now, let's just... It's not in the right spot. There you go. in the way, really. Oh man, so finicky, so finicky. There you go. And now I can see to be able to put it in. There you go. I feel like this is a little too long. No, it's a four. That's right. Yeah, I'll just wait like this. So let's. There you go. Nope. Okay. Once again, the rough idea is done. So I'm gonna have to attach the rope here.
there's gonna be a few challenges. The first of all is will the ropes be able to pull all this weight? The second one will each cart hold all those stones? If not, I might have to reduce this thing to just two stockpiles again. And I might just switch them over, uh, turn them 90 degrees and just put two on each cart. The third one will be the, the ramp. The fourth one will be the turn. The fifth one will be stopping. And the sixth one will be climbing up the damn ramp. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. Uh, I'm not expecting to do, to this to go very smoothly. Uh, and now is also a tough part, which is to start removing this. I'm going to put the, the railings back again. I think I'm just going to put... Uh, One on, one off. It should it should help me to keep it in place, and also should help me to reach the timbers that I need to remove. There you go. And I'm gonna think I'm just gonna add scaffolding. Okay, and let's start by the easiest one, which is right here, and uh, let's see how it goes. So there it is, the first one, let's see. Okay, it fell and moved, went a little bit forward, that's fine, the rope should remain with the same length. Okay, so these ones are out, so I can put these ones here, so it doesn't get out too much of a place. Okay, come on. So let's put these ones here, there you go. And now I think I'm gonna leave these ones in the middle uh, stuck and I'm gonna remove these ones from the top I think it might be better Can I reach it? Yeah. Okay, that one is down. Oh, wait, this one only had one. Okay. No, we had two, but it wasn't a dead. Okay. This one the same. Nice. This one doesn't even have one on the back. There you go. And I have a feeling that the wheel is gonna come out. <laughs> Let's see. So it looks like everything's on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna leave the floors in for now. I just don't want to hit the wrong thing. And uh, 
Okay, it seems like it's on. Uh, let's go to third person. First, let's attach rope. Let's see if I can bring it. Yeah, it's going sideways. It's it's the railing is a little far. You know, but the stone is keeping it in place, and uh, I'm with it empty. I managed to pull it all. Let's give it a shot on the. Uh, come on, man! The the movement in this game, uh, the word atrocious comes to mind. It, it, it really comes. Uh, okay. There you go. This is not closed because I have a stair here, but I think I'm gonna close it for the time being. There you go. Oh, nice. So, let's give it a test. I'm attached. It's just a matter of starting to run forward. I think I didn't attach it very well. Let's try again. In first person first. Yeah, he turned to the side and now... It's kinda stuck. Let's try to put pull this side first. There you go. I think I'm gonna have to wait because apparently this thing is colliding with this part of the battlement and it's getting stuck. So I might need to have a second uh, set of railings inside just to keep it in line. But uh, first, let's let's test it. Let's see how it goes. Just like this. Putting it in the middle. It's moving. It's moving the whole cart. Look at that. It's just getting stuck. It's just getting stuck. I need I need to place some railings here. And I'm thinking about round timbers uh, on the inside of the battlements. Yeah, because I think the wheels are also very close to each other. This one on the back should work a little bit better because the wheels are a little bit farther apart. But this one also rotated to the right, so it's not a perfect system. I'm gonna, definitely gonna have to add a set of Round timbers here. Do I have round timbers? I don't. I'm gonna have to do round timbers. But then I'm gonna have a problem on the ramp. I can't really place round timbers on a decline. And the thing is, the diagonal timbers are 45 degrees and my ramp is 22.5. It's half the inclination. So. Because I'm thinking, I'm not gonna go full speed on the ramp because since the cart is sectioned, when this one starts to descend, the rest of the cart is still on a flat surface and the weight should keep it there. So we shouldn't accelerate too much. When this cart starts to reach the end of the ramp, that's when the cart should get start getting some some speed because most of the cart is gonna be on the, on the ramp. But then again, when these two front uh, carts reach the flatness on the bottom it's gonna start uh, decelerating again I think the, the in terms of speed it will balance itself out because of the length of it and the weight that it's gonna carry the only problem that I'm seeing now is the direction because this thing is gonna start banging the walls another option that I could do is just uh, switch these battlements to just walls
That's another option. And I could do... Of course I don't want to have it completely enclosed. But the idea could be having a set of wall. And then a set of railing. Just so that we are able to see through. Or I can keep it all stone and do a pillar there, a pillar there, and then a pillar here. We're gonna have the same problem, it's gonna hit this part, yeah. Uh, I could also try to use these railings, but these railings are on the outside of the block. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have full walls here. And I didn't want to, to have this completely enclosed. So... I think I'm gonna keep the battlement. And what I might have to do is just add timbers all the way. And then in the ramp, I'm going to have to figure out a different solution. Yeah. This thing just rotates by itself. And it will be hard to control. So this is a 9 wide, but of course the wheels are in. The wheels add like an extra 2 timbers on each side, so this is probably an 11 wide. So this is kind of like this, so I figure I should put the timbers like so. Let's just do a little test to see if it helps a little bit and uh, I'm, I'm pulling the full cart right now and I'm pushing it <laughs> it's medieval engineer's magic let's just go with it uh, it's tight, it's tight, it's gonna have to be one, one extra so here I got two, here I got one, so let's just put on the outside. So let's see. Yeah, it has some clearance, you know, it's not completely tight, otherwise the cart I don't think would move very well. But like this, I think it should help, at least in this part, it should help it to keep in place. And I don't think I even need to use round timbers, I think I can just put these ones all the way. And then the ramp. What could I do in the ramp? So the ramp starts declining right here. This is where I broke the two grids, and this one is aligned to the place where I am. So right here, I can put the timbers in. No problem. The problem will start here. Because it's snapping. Of course, I could try to rotate this manually, but it's very tricky. And once I uh, get really close to the block, it just wants to snap. What I could try to do is just put ones by ones. For example, I could put one here and then keep going like this on a little ladder. It's not gonna look spectacular, uh, but the thing is the inclination of this <coughs> doesn't... I don't even have diagonal timbers. I thought I had diagonal timbers. What the hell did I do with them? And I don't think I have anything... <coughs> 
with a 22.5 degree inclination. The stairs are 45, the roofs are 45. Not that I would be able to put a roof here, but <laughs> these railings are 45. <coughs> yeah, there's not a lot of options. I'm gonna have to go with something custom and uh, it's gonna look ugly but I'm gonna have to go full functional I'm gonna have to find something to help me control the sideway movement of the cart in the descent that's gonna be crucial otherwise <coughs> it should be able to reach the, 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 the bottom but probably not in very good condition <coughs> Then another thing that I'm seeing is once I reach the turn, some of the cart will still be on the ramp. So it's going to be interesting to see how I manage to do it. Here to turn, uh, I think I can place diagonal timbers on the floor, but I'm going to have to test it because I'm not sure. But I think I better off use the battlements to help turn the cart. So right here I might change this to full walls. So that the cart doesn't bang on this thing. Because if I use timbers to bake the cart dirt, it's gonna stop tilting and probably go overboard. You know what I mean? It's just on the floor. It's just to help it keep it straight. It's not supposed to help make the cart move because with all the weight, I'm gonna need something sturdy so that the cart bangs against it and actually turns uh, so I'm, I'm probably gonna use the, the, the wall itself here but only when I bring the cart all over here I'm, I'm gonna know what, what sort of problems I'm gonna have but in terms of the ramp yeah that's that's the, the, the best solution that I'm thinking of right now I might think about something else off camera I'm gonna try a few things see what works better but I might just go with this just keep doing maybe two by twos or even yeah I have to put twos because the three is gonna stay outside just putting two by twos like this of course I'm starting to get a, a 45 I'm gonna have to add a, a four uh, yeah what I might do is just a one and then a two and it's gonna be a three by three yeah because to get a 22.5 degree angle it's one by two But I'm starting in the block behind, so let's put a 2 here. Now a 1, now a 2, now a 1, now a 2. And this will give me the inclination of 22.5. If it was 45 degree angle, it would be the same ratio. A 2, and then a 2, and then a 2, and then a 2. And this would give a 45 degree angle. Uh, I think I'm thinking it right. Uh, I kind of think it like this from building in Imperium because when I'm starting to build a ship I usually first use full blocks and then I switch it over with the blocks that I need for that place uh, so I think this will be the inclination maybe doing a little bit higher uh, but I think that's gonna be the idea that's gonna be the, the main idea that I'm gonna use if this was the unstable version 0.7.2 I could use diagonal timbers and do the same thing as I do with the normal timbers, go from size 1 to 10. But on this version, the 0.6.4, which is the last stable version, the diagonal timbers only has the full size, which is a 10, and the middle size, which is a 5. So it's not really possible to do a little bit of cleaning up here with diagonal timbers, because they don't go to size 1. But there you go! I think the cart is, is working. I'm able to pull it and push it. I still haven't tested it when it fall, but I still got a lot of work to do on the ramp, on the, the bridge. So, for the next episode, hopefully, I'm gonna have this ready and uh, actually finish off the last part of the bridge over there, where it connects to the blacksmith. I'm not very happy about how it went in the last episode. I'm gonna have to do some more work and I have an idea of how it's gonna be. But for now, thank you for watching and until next time.